Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Today's workout, all abs and core. I'm gonna do a combination here for you. We're gonna be on our backs on the ground in some plank positions, weighted abs and standing abs. So a good combo of everything. And I'm doing a no repeat workout today. All right, the format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. Again, no repeat. So grab some lighter dumbbells if you wish to use those for some of the exercises. And no warm up today, but I will end with a bit of a cool down. Okay, so do your own warm up if you wish or tag this onto an existing workout. Great, are you ready to move? daily. Me too. Let's do it. Right, if you're hitting something on your watch, you could hit strength, I suppose. Is there an ab thing on the watch? I don't know. I don't know, we're starting with that standing elbow to knee, working those obliques, here we go. And you're down in crunch, switch sides right here. That's it. Try to bring that elbow to the outside of your leg. Good, okay. We're gonna do some alternating leg lifts, working that lower abdominal wall. This will also help increase blood flow a little bit to the muscles, joints, ligaments as well. All right, alternating, and you're here and here. Let's go into that single knee in. We're gonna reach out, drive the knee in, crunch those lower abs. I'll call half and we'll switch legs. Hinge at the waist. All right, reach it here, drive it in and long. So you can either lift the leg off the ground or if you're too tippy, just tap it down, drive and tap. Okay, either is fine. I'm gonna go right into that plank position there. One more here and switch your leg. <laughs> Just in time, I was tipping over. All right, side crunch, leg lift. Again, same side until I call half. Hands are here, abs engaged, and side leg lift here. Last one on this side, and switch sides. And elbow to knee. And then that cross kick right there. We'll alternate sides here. Okay. A little bit of oblique, little lower ab as well. And knee and kick. Alternate here and kick. Good. Nice twisting position. Okay, 
bring it down into a low plie position here. And we're gonna do a side to side crunch, center and other side crunch for those obliques again. Drop it low, and side and center, other side, back to center. I'm gonna grab my light weights, just three pounders, but I'll hold both of them for my figure eight. So nice step side to side. You can hold them here or hold one weight. Figure eight, you're here and here. Let's go into your weighted set on the ground. All right, starting with your butterfly sit up, feet together, knees fall out to the side. It's that overhead reach, front press there. Here we go. Of course, you could use heavier weights if you wish. Right into your thread the needle. We'll do 40 seconds per side here. All right, you can modify this from knees. Hand is here, we're gonna tuck it under and lift it up or modify here or take it from your feet. All right, 40 seconds aside. Stay with me. Stay on this side. Let's switch sides. How was that? Not too bad. Not too bad, she says. All right. Mod or from the feet. Here we go and tuck it under and reach. Slow and controlled. Let's go into that V-sit layout. Okay, I'm gonna hold both the threes. You can modify this by a single leg extension under, single leg extension, or both like I'm doing. Lay it out and under. Pause. 
palms face the ceiling. Let's go into the starfish pass under. I'm gonna set one weight there. You're gonna come up and tap, and then up and pass it under. Alternating sides. Here we go. Up and tap. Now under here, other side. Tap and under. Flip it over for your plank dumbbell drag. Forearm position, mod from the knees if you need. We're gonna drag that dumbbell side to side. Okay, nice neutral neck, bum down. And we drag and switch. Try not to rock the hips. Flipping back over, just one dumbbell again for our princess sit up and you'll stay on the same side until I call half. Okay, with or without a weight, but you're there. Get ready and up, there we go. Switch legs. One more weighted one here. I'll hold both for the Russian twist. Okay. Holding together, leaning back, feet off the ground if you want to make it more challenging. And you're back and back. Slow and controlled here. I'm gonna give you a water break after this one. We'll grab a quick drink and then come back. seconds. Whew. Feeling this guy. Very good. Okay, grab a drink. Check out the screen. That's the next set coming up and we're going to make our way back down to the ground. We're going to go into that side crunch. Okay, so lay it out. You're gonna come all the way extended and then crunch with the elbow on the outside of the thigh. A full 40 on each side. Here we go, slow and controlled. Good. If you can, leave those legs in a hover position. Okay, don't, don't lay down on the ground. Keep connection with those abs and core.
stay with me here. Doing well. Yes, I'm coming up onto that elbow a bit and crunching. Let's flip it. Okay, overhead reach. Crunch into that small position there. Ready, here we go. And you're up and open. Don't drop those feet. Let's flip right over to dead bug. Okay, you're on your back, knees at 90 degrees, opposite hand and opposite leg, reach, push your back into the ground. All right, and we extend here. Now switch, opposite hand and foot. All the while, you're really focused on pushing your back into the ground here. Have you ever tried this with a Swiss ball between the knees and palms? It's an awesome way to add that element of difficulty because you have to keep the ball in the air. So it keeps you conscious of doing opposite hand and foot here. Let's throw a challenging one in here. We're gonna do a small package into a V-sit, but stick with the small package if you can't V-sit. I'm gonna to come to tailbone, but come stay on your back if you need. Small package, so you're here, all the way back, now V-sit here. Good, small package here, and V-sit here. Roll it over for your dolphin plank. So plank position, come up to that pike and then hover again down in plank. You can mod a hold from the knees if you need. Okay, bum down. Now we reach bum up and then hover. Hands are relaxed. Nice and relaxed here. Into your bear crawl, opposite hand and foot, just like our dead bug, but now we're crawling front and back, really small steps. Go back to dead bug if this hurts your wrists. Okay, hover over the ground, and little steps here, two, three, four, and back. Don't make the mistake of taking a big step back, just, just little ones. Don't rock the hips. Flip it for your hip hop extension. 
hands under the bottom if you need to support that lower back. We'll pop, bend, extend. You can extend with a single leg if you wish. Let's start with that hip hop up to the ceiling, bend, extend, pop it up and here. Slow and controlled, as low to the ground as you can. <laughs> Let's go into another side plank here. This time, just that pulse. So we're popping up and we're pulsing hips. Modify here or from the knees. 40 per side. Here we go. Pulse right here and pulse. That's it. Full abdominal wall. A lot of obliques on this one too. My abs feel good on this. It's just that elbow that can take the brunt, isn't it? Stay with me, 15 seconds here. Mod if you need. And flip it. Whew, I'm getting sweaty, that's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. How, with an ab, ab workout? All right. Ready, up and pulse, and you're here. Let's go into the sit-up knee drive. You'll alternate sides. Okay, just give that lower back a little stretch if you need for a second. Alternating, and you're here. Now switch here. Moving into your 90 degree crunch. Legs will be at 90 degrees in the air. Of course, you could put a Swiss ball under or a bench if you wish. We're just crunching, working upper abdominal wall here to the ceiling. You're up. Keep elbows wide. Flip it over, plank hip drop this round. Okay, modify this from the knees if you need, but then don't do the side to side drop. You don't wanna tweak your back. Otherwise, from the toes and dip right here, switch here, hands are relaxed. Nice neutral neck, just looking at the ground right directly below you.
And to your bird dog, I'm gonna take it from hands and toes, but you can modify from knees. Opposite hand and leg extend. You'll alternate, otherwise pop it up here with me. Opposites here, and we reach and switch. Slow control and switch. Into your bicycle. Okay, opposite elbow to knee. To mod this, you're just gonna be here, tapping heel down each time. Huh. Get ready. And bicycle here, and slow, that's it. Flip it for that three-point plank. Okay, out to the side, directly in, and then hit the diagonal, then you'll switch legs. Almost there, folks. Plank here. Here we go, out to the side, right in, diagonal here, switch legs, out, in, diagonal. into your scissors, traveling scissors. So I'm gonna start at the top. We're gonna to scissor all the way down, then back up, but you can keep it at the ground if you want something more challenging. Ready? Okay, scissor, two, three, and back up here. One, two, three, and down for one, two, three, and up for one, two, three. Okay, let's finish with our windshield wiper. Knees can stay bent and you can go uh, side to side there. More challenging is straight legs. Arms are at the side, shoulders on the ground. And here we go. Slow, two, three, and up. Other side, two, three, and up. Doing well, everyone. Stay with me. You're almost done. Oh, straight legs is work. Really control the down. <laughs> Three, two, I couldn't see my timer. One and done. You move daily. Whoo! In your leg work, no. <laughs> In your ab workout. Okay, join me for a quick stretch if you can. Let's just stay in this position. Hug those knees, little circles on the back. This will just be a quick cool down here. Just lengthening those things back out. I'm gonna 
Straighten one leg, hug one knee and just draw it into your chest. Okay, that would be great. You could repeat that quite periodically, maybe three times a week if you wanted to. Really work on abs and core, switch sides. Yes, we did add some weight, but for me, I feel like I probably won't feel that too much tomorrow and I could, I could do it, you know, again, for sure. Flip it over. Now, again, if you've been lifting lots, let's go into Cobra here. You might want to consider doing more weighted ab exercises to really activate those abs. We do a lot of ab work when we're doing heavy lifting as well. But for me, what I feel targets abs the best is hanging leg raises. I do have a bar here, so I'll work at those. A captain's chair at a gym works well. Yes, if you don't have one, you could do something like a Swiss ball pass. Right, we have a Swiss ball between your feet and you're up and down with that. You've seen that before probably. Something where you're weighting the abs as well works really nicely. So a decline bench if you have that, right? Let's just stretch up here. But adding this in a couple times a week is definitely gonna be beneficial as well. Other side, reach. All right, folks, thanks for joining. I'm definitely sweaty, I'll give it that. And abs are activated. Join me in the next workout.